It's a building normally bustling with students and teachers, but this is now a quiet reality for the MHS college and high school. Empty classrooms, students barred from attending, and the school now closed down by the authorities. This part of the 19th arrondissement, an area in the northeast of Paris, is multicultural. Religions and cultures mix freely. The Justice Ministry didn't respond to our request for an interview about why it closed the school here. In a statement it referred to the fight against Islamism, not respecting Republican principles, as well as the presence of two foreigners working as teachers without authorization. The staff who have run this school for the past five years are adamant. There is no justifiable reason for closure. How can they say that we are radicalized, that we are separatist? What we work on is the opposite. We teach the children about citizenship, to become responsible individuals in French society, and not to have a rebellious state of mind as the authorities describe. A legislation that appears to target Muslims in France is nothing new. A law 16 years ago banned the wearing of religious symbols at government schools. But the MHS college was one of the few in Paris that allowed headscarves to be worn. The government's stance regarding the new law on separatism remains firm. They say it doesn't discriminate. This draft law is neither a text against religions nor against the Muslim religion in particular. On the contrary, it's a law of freedom, a law of protection. Whatever the rights or wrongs, the closure of this school has left 110 students without placement. And this is in the middle of an academic year. And as well as that, there are 18 teachers and support staff who are now unemployed. I felt this was an injustice. I hate this. My school already has values that are precious to me, and they just found a pretext to close us because of our differences. For example, my friend who wears a headscarf is viewed negatively. I feel oppressed. The school was closing, along with mosques and Islamic organizations that have also been shut down recently, has added to a sense of concern that the Muslim population in France, one of the largest in Western Europe, is being targeted unfairly by the government of President Macron, and that at the moment the national motto that speaks of equality and freedom does not seem to apply to them. Francis Collings, TRT World, Paris.